Hey everybody and welcome to part 3 of my tutorial series in 3D code for beginners and in this tutorial we're going to be going over stitching on the material level. As you know in the previous tutorial we went over how to add the whole leathery texture and stuff. So as you can see here we added the, te the leathery texture and the metal part, you know the metal on the bag. So in this, in this tutorial we're going to be going over the stitching this time. So just so we can get started, you know we will start we will start by adding uh what are we gonna add we're gonna be adding a new layer yes we're gonna be adding a new layer and we're gonna call this layer stitching you know stitching so stitching since I've made a new layer the reason why I've done that is because the stitching works the normal map so I want to be able to alter that with this depth opacity and opacity so if the stitching doesn't, if the stitching looks too much, I can switch on how I can use it, you know. So first on how you can get started with stitching, one thing you should do is stripes, strips actually, not stripes, strips. So I have my own personal stitching uh, material. It's for se it's a seam. So what you can do, how I put that inside is, I went to this part, I went, I clicked new. And from there, I went to I, I I looked for my for my stitching texture. Yes, I looked for my stitching texture. Um, so we'll be going. Oh, oh wait, where did I put my stitching texture? Yes, grade eleven. <laughs> wow. So I looked for my stitching texture and I opened my stitching texture. So the texture needs to be in in a, in a, um, a PNG file or a PNG format because JPEG doesn't support alphas. So PNG or TIFF or what other formats support alphas. So in this in this part we're gonna in this with this. Uh, stitching or seam picture we're gonna be using it to stitch right here we've created seams you know so I've, I've indicated on my model the parts where it needs stitching and when I press 4 you can see the parts that do, that do need stitching so from there we're gonna so at this point we're not really gonna be using the materials uh, so either you can use the material if you want but mainly when using materials like if I had to paint over this so if I did that you can see the stitching how it looks it just looks like random stitching but what you don't want on stitching is the glossiness so when you come up to this tab you can see this is an opacity the, the normal map the normal the depth and the glossiness so stitching doesn't really have glossiness so we're going to remove the glossiness at this point and we're going to keep the normal map so it just looks like that and then now because it looks like the, the reason why it's so low resolution is because I'm using a low a lower pixel count 10 1024 but if you're using a higher then it's probably going to be looking really good or much better so the reason why I've why it's written X here yours might not be written X but you can press uh, um, left mouse key the, the left mouse button to to turn it on or turn it off so this is temporarily disabled so when I press uh, the right mouse key or right mouse button it's on right now when I press it again it's off so we're gonna want it to be on so we're gonna use this material here if you don't want to use your materials you can just come and press X here and your materials will be also disabled at this point and then you can just come and click here and increase the stitching to a different color and from there we can see our stitching how it looks and stuff you know it looks fine so from here we let me see something okay let me see no okay no I don't want that I also want the color in it. so from here what are we what we're gonna be doing so I, w I wanna use my materials so I'm gonna use this material which is a 
The reason why the material looks like this is because if you go in Smart Material Editor, you're gonna see um, you're gonna see a tab that show by the color section. It shows uh, what looks like a snowflake. Yes, you can click it, and it's on module right now. So if you use replace. It's going to use the color that is here. So you have to use the Smart Material Editor to change this color. But if you use Module or Modulate, it's going to use this coloring over here. So you can turn it, you can change the color anytime you want. So we're just going to cancel that since I already have it. And from there, we can um, come here and use the color white, or we can just try and make it brownish. A little bit you know a little brownish since the color right now doesn't really matter because we're going to be decreasing the color so yeah just leave it just leave you can leave it as white if you want to so you don't you don't really need to see that but yeah then we're going to come up here by the paint tools and we're going to see what type of strokes we're going to be using and uh we're going at this time we're going to be using the vertex line stroke yes we're going to use that. So from there, so what this does is when I click, sometimes it causes problems, but okay, it's not it's not really a problem. You can, then now I can click and show where I want my seams to go. So that's perfect. So I can just remove that. And uh, I want to make this white. So by saturation, click and click zero. So from there, we're gonna rotate and we're gonna zoom in. And we're still on stitching the layer. I think it should decrease this a little bit. Let me see how it looks now. So the reason mine looks so deresolute is because of course my 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 samples are quite low. Okay, so I need that to be on. Great. So you can see it. Great. So from this point, let's see. Okay, it looks fine. So we're going to press numpad 7 to go to top view. And we're going to move that just so I can rotate it. I don't know if I can. Press numpad 5 to go in perspective. And let's see how that looks. Okay, so it's really it's not doing really well with this, but okay. So I have an idea since the resolution is really low, but okay, it looks fine. From there, let's see. Okay, good. So I'm gonna click there. Oh yes, I'm gonna click from there. And push that there, and then from there, I'm gonna click there, and then from there, I'm gonna click there. And from there, I'm gonna click there, and then also there, and also around there. Okay, that looks fine.
So after you've done like the whole stitching or seam adding, as you can see, the seams don't look that perfect. They don't look as nice as you wanted them to do because the seams are white and the bag is brown. So how you can change that if your seams are white, main, namely your seams have to go with the color of the material. So this is where this part comes in handy. So you can go to the opacity and you can set it to 30. And that's going to change the whole stitching layer and now it looks okay. Let's put it on 40. Let's put it on 40. Let's put it on 40. That looks good. And maybe the depth at about, uh, let's see if you can put it on 200. Now that looks much harder. So let's put it 150. Okay. Both of these good. Then let's say 35. Yes standard blend you can come here and maybe you can use the where's multiply is the multiply here yes multiply opacity multiply so when I put on 100 so it practically looks the same but that's for stitching so now it looks much better Okay, it looks much better. Let's see. Yes, that looks so much better. But if you want to see your stitching even more, you can just leave your standard um, blending at just, um, uh, let me just see, as a normal. Let's see if I click normal map, if that works really well. Uh, let's see. I put that at 50. Okay, so that didn't change. So you can leave it at standard blend and yeah, that's gonna work fine. You can leave it at standard standard blend and just put that at 30. So yes, that is stitching for you guys. If you want to add some more stitching around the bag or other places then that's gonna work that's probably uh, gonna work but better for you guys but because of the resolution like I said before you know it doesn't look the best way but with a higher resolution I can show you a high resolution uh, oh, I'm sorry for the big cut but uh, this is a bag with this is the bag with a higher resolution and as you can see for yourself, the stitches are much more visible if you use a higher resolution. And yeah, it works much better with the higher resolution. The bag looks way better with the higher resolution. And uh, I'll probably show you a link on where you can get the stitches, like the stitch alpha or little seam. Uh, you can probably find it, if, if you don't want to use the link, you can find it on Polygon, you know, under the seams. Uh, yeah, it's been a great tutorial for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, like or subscribe. And uh, don't forget to keep supporting my YouTube and thank you. Yeah, have, enjoy have a wonderful day.